Good evening, book lovers of the internet. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe because for every subscriber, I get a new subscriber and I also read a page from a book of my choice. So in this video, I am going to be reviewing the third short story in Roald Dahl's anthology called Madness. Um, this short story is called The Sound Machine and um, it has about 20 pages. I rated it 4 out of 5 stars. And... Um, the first thing that came to mind when reading this was that I, I'm pretty sure that any vegans or vegetarians would absolutely loathe this short story. And it is also a fantastic descent into madness sort of story. Um, I think it's the best one so far. So um, it's the third story. It's um, the best one in terms of um, delving into madness and the actual issues regarding the mind so far. So I think that Klausner's character deteriorates rather quickly after using the sound machine for the first time, though it would be interesting to see how the sound machine came to be and how much of a genius Klausner actually is to have created such a machine in the first place. So I think just a little bit more context would have made the story that much better. Um, I'm not asking for too much detail, just a bit of a background knowledge about how the sound machine came to be. Uh, with Roald Dahl, I have a lot of great experiences with his inventions. Of course, um, I read a lot of his uh, children's works, and um, I also remember the great automatic grammatizator, which absolutely fascinated me when I was younger, and I still think of it uh, to this day whenever Roald Dahl is mentioned, so... This one was rather great as well, though. I wish um, I wished it was a little bit longer, to be fair. Um, basically, this guy creates a machine that can detect um, sounds which would usually not be able to be heard by human beings due to their frequencies being much higher. And um, he is basically able to see what nature feels whenever humanity tries to destroy it. So it can also be a bit of a... Um, some sort of, I suppose, revelation about the present. It is... Um, Basically, what is going on all over the country here in Malta, and we're destroying nature, and I suppose that putting this into perspective by being able to hear it would um, would help us understand a lot of that the destruction of nature is absolutely horrifying and horrible, and in fact, Klausner does descend into madness, so I am going to keep this review very short and sweet, because I don't want the, pa the main point of it to to be lost and that is basically do not destroy nature um, it is very relevant to this day it has a very good sense of timelessness within it and um, there is also a brilliant balance between discovery destruction and sympathy or empathy perhaps um, which you wouldn't be able to find in many stories especially where nature is being destroyed whether intentionally or unintentionally or for a purpose or not just for scientific research maybe um, so it is also pretty cool to see how the main character's knowledge of the world of plants those which do not have a voice as we understand it uh, led to his psychological um, to his psychological downfall and this can be said of course of course it can be extended as well to um, other beings who do not have a voice it doesn't only have to be plants um, it can be anything we do not understand or um, those who are silent because they have been silenced so if you were to really look into it you could um, make it out to be a very horrifying story and madness would be the perfect way to describe it um, but i'm not sure whether Roald Dahl had that intention when he was writing the story so i will not delve into speculation that much um of course, despite the implications, it is still rather open-ended, and hence why I think speculation might be a bit necessary to understand the story better. But anyway, those are my thoughts regarding the third short story in Roald Dahl's anthology Madness, called The Sound Machine. Um, I really enjoyed this one, and I look forward to more, um, if they are similar as well. It's a very quick read, uh, very fascinating, very simple, but there are so many messages um, which can be... Um, taken away from reading such a short story so as usual thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel leave a like on the video comment and share and watch all my other content as well because i'm pretty sure you'll find something that is um, interesting to you um, much like many other things on this channel probably so once again thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one very very soon bye guys